So when we're talking about the angels, the Prophet ﷺ was asked particularly on the night of Al-Isra' wal Mi'raj. You know, there were some people that questioned that journey, how he made that journey. There are some people that just wanted to know what it was like. And a group of companions came to the Prophet ﷺ and they asked the Messenger Wasallam, <clears throat> what did it sound like? You know, what did you see and what did it sound like? I mean, as you're traveling through these galaxies with rapid speed, what is it that you heard out there? And the Messenger Wasallam, <clears throat> he says, Inni ara ma la taron. He says, look, I see things that you are incapable of seeing. And I hear things that you are incapable of hearing. He says, Inna samaa attat. Said the heavens are creaking. Attat means they are shaking violently. And there's a reason why the sound of it is like it's shaking violently. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, because there isn't a space of four fingers except that there is an angel that, is, that has been created in prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is doing nothing but declaring his praises. So he described the sound of vibration. Okay, I want you just to listen quickly to what it sounds like in outer space. NASA actually had a recording from outer, outer space they put up 16 years ago, right before the turn of the millennium. And the name of the research was, Our Universe is Not Silent. Because there was this idea that if you went out to outer space, you wouldn't hear anything except for the moving objects. Just listen to what it sounds like in outer space. Obviously, you know, that's good enough. You guys can't hear everything. Um, but if you get a chance to listen to it, it's actually quite breathtaking. And actually one of the researchers who published that research said that it sounds like a billion men doing Gregorian chants all simultaneously at the same time. SubhanAllah. When I heard that, I remember this hadith of the Messenger ﷺ. Look, I see things that you don't see. And I hear things that you don't hear. How could a man living 1400 years ago in desert know this? And why would he mention this? Where did this knowledge come from? Was he a scientist? Did he just guess? How could an illiterate man who was a shepherd come up with a book in a society where 95% of the people were illiterate? Historians to this day can't explain how desert dwellers defeated the biggest empires of that time like the Romans and the Persians. How come this man is still followed to this day by millions? How come the book he brought is memorized by millions by heart? تجزعي آه